Hey everyone, Brian Farrow here. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to share with you the flood uh, changes in Charlotte County on how to navigate the GIS system so that you can identify whether or not your property had a change. Uh, and you know, speaking to someone about how that change impacts your flood insurance rate uh, or the need to carry flood insurance uh, if you have a lender is a conversation you're gonna wanna have with your insurance agent. Um, but I do want to show you how to navigate this site uh, just so that you can figure it out for yourself to see if there is a change that you might need to contact them about. Um, so in the description, you'll see the link. Uh, and when you click that link, it's going to take you to this screen. Go ahead and click continue. And what you'll notice is that it automatically defaults. Uh, this is the county administration building address. Go ahead and clear that out. And then type in the property address. We're going to use our office address here for the example, click on it when it comes up and it'll zoom you right down to that property. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up here to the top right, you'll see the layers button, click the layers button, and then scroll down until you see FEMA layers and old FEMA layers. Um, we're gonna to wanna to use both of them. So I think it automatically checks the FEMA layers, but you can get rid of the top two and just leave new FEMA flood zone and you'll see that it lights up a certain color here and then go to the old FEMA and do the second one, which is old FEMA flood zone pre-12-15-2022. So that was the effective date for these changes was 2022, 12-15-2022. Uh, so go ahead and check that box. And then you're gonna wanna click up at the top right again, identify, and then click on the property. And it'll bring up all of those layers. And then what you'll be able to do is click on new FEMA flood zone. It's going to show you that we are an 8AE. That means we're an AE flood zone and our base flood elevation requirement is 8 foot. And if you click old FEMA layers, you're going to see that we were the exact same. So we had no change whatsoever at the office. Um, but if you we go across the street here to Dollar General, we can use that as an example. If I click on that property, we will see that they are now an X flood zone. So that's a flood zone still, but it doesn't quite, uh, require flood insurance with most lenders. And then if we go down to the old FEMA, you'll see that they used to be a 9 AE. So their requirement used to be a base flood elevation of nine in an AE flood zone. Um, so they had what a lot of people would consider a positive change. Um, we will see some instances in the county where the complete opposite will happen. They might've been an X flood zone, and then now they're going into an eight or nine or 10 uh, AE. Uh, so hopefully this helps you with navigating the site a little bit better. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our office, 941-698-0303. Uh, um, I also just showed you our address as well. You're more than welcome to stop by the office if we can walk you through this. Obviously your insurance agent um, should have the knowledge and experience to navigate this for you as well. So feel free to reach out to them as well because that's a conversation you're gonna have with them uh, if there is a change on your flood, uh, flood zone. So hopefully this information was helpful. Uh, feel free to reach out to us if we can be of further assistance. Have a great day.